The focus of, of the piece is the Lindisfarne Gospels. I wrote the music uh, to give Ross Ashton, who's the, uh, the lighting designer, uh, a kind of base with which to organize all of the pictures that are projected on the cathedral. And then uh, my music is taken by John Del Nero, who uses it in a sound design that surrounds the entire uh, area where the audience is going to be. My objective is uh, to take a piece of um, architectural landscape which people see every day in their, in their normal lives and which perhaps they've almost edited out of their consciousness and then represent it to them in a new way. You gather together the images and then uh, using software you, you, you create montages of those images and they're actually then printed out onto celluloid film. But it's not like a cine projector, it's more like a magic lantern. So the images scroll backwards and forwards through the projector and produce these great movements. What you'll hear is uh, music that's emanated from a cathedral. So you'll have organ music and choral music. And every time one of the saints appears, uh, you'll hear a little sort of bell-like sound with a choir. And those are the bits that I've written just to underline each of those beautiful gospels, one for each of the saints. Music in this situation certainly taps into the kind of collective awareness of, of this part of the world but it also gives you a little bit of a, of a kind of emotional souvenir to take away with you. You know, it's, it's something that you can't see, you can't touch, it's the intangible thing that you feel about the event. I'd hope that people really are transported by the music as well as by the visuals. I hope that they are really taken much deeper into this world here with the cathedral and really that they get a greater awareness of the Lindisfarne Gospels and their place in history.